Hey there, let's talk about how to use EFT tapping for a specific memory. This is one of the most important skills to have inside of your EFT toolbox because the more specific we can be with our tapping on specific memories, the better results you're gonna get. You're really gonna get that foundational shift in your nervous system if you can really laser focus in on specific memories that actually caused and were the root of the problem many, many years ago. Now there's a few things to keep in mind when you're working with a specific memory. And one thing that is so, so important is to choose a target, okay? And when you're choosing your target, I want you to pick something that is maybe five minutes or less, okay? So people make the mistake of saying, um, the day my dad died as a memory to work on. And usually when people do that, there's a whole series of memories that they should be working on. So what I want you to do is really break that apart. And if you have like a day um, or an era where there was a lot of trauma and a lot of pain and you know that you need to do some work in there, I want you to just first start out by journaling. Okay, there was this era where I know or say it was the divorce, right? I want you to start picking apart the specific memories, little chunks in time, specific fights, um, moments in time where you actually asked for the divorce, conversations, um, how, what led to the divorce, that kind of thing. So what you're gonna be doing is making specific notes about what those memories are. Now when you've chosen your target, I want you to first check in with it and see what the intensity is, okay? With your eyes open, just thinking about that memory, that moment in time, I want you to see zero to 10, how intense is that? 10 being the most intense you can imagine. And then after that, once you pick a number, I want you to check in with your body, maybe close your eyes, and I want you to see if you think about that memory, where you feel that inside of your body, okay? Go ahead and jot that down, jot down the number, and you've got your target and you're ready to get going. Now, the way to work with memories is to um, start at the beginning. So, you know, you've got this five minute snippet of time, and I want you to actually rewind the story to before anything went wrong, okay? So, um, you're going to rewind to the beginning and there's two ways that you can go about this. You can work on it in your mind. We call this the movie technique. And then you can also say it out loud, which is actually kind of the next level up to make sure that you've cleared it on a deep level. And that's when you actually tell the story. It's called tell the story and you actually tell someone else about it. And then usually if you've totally cleared this memory, this thing from your nervous system, you will be able to in the future tell the story and feel no physical reaction. It's as if the memory has been placed, you know, actually in the past and it's no longer hooked into your nervous system and causing the physical discomfort and the mental discomfort that goes along with it, okay? So go ahead and choose your target and let's start with the movie technique first. So I want you to go ahead and just imagine, and the safest way to do this um, is to do it with your eyes open. If you have, if you feel like you're comfortable working with tapping and you've done this before, you could go ahead and close your eyes. That will actually increase the intensity some. Um, you have to remember you're taking care of yourself here. This is a self-help technique, so I don't want you going into your biggest traumas, um, what we call big T traumas, you know, car accidents, sexual assaults, um, sexual abuse, that kind of thing. You have to save that for, well, you don't have to, but it's really the safest to save for a professional, okay? So choose something that's, you know, maybe on a scale of intensity five to six, you really don't want to choose something eight, nine, or 10, unless you're a very skilled person, you've done this for a while, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes, or even with your eyes open, I want you to imagine that you could rewind the story to before anything happened. And what you're gonna do is start to play the movie forward, this memory that you've chosen, and the first time you see some detail, some peak, you feel a peak of intensity in your body, you see something happen in that memory, I want you to pause it in your mind and you're gonna start to tap, okay? So you're gonna start to focus in on where you feel it in your body and ask yourself, what emotion is this? Now, if you're really triggered, sometimes that's hard because we have a difficult time connecting with the emotion, but we know that we can feel it physically, okay? So if you can't necessarily feel it, I want you to just kind of ask yourself, if I could guess what emotion this would be, I'm gonna go with that, okay? So, and it looks like this. So you tap on the side of the hand, use the basic process from here, and you ask your mind to freeze on that exact moment, okay? And it looks like this. Even though I have this moment in time, right here in this moment, I'm okay. Even though I have all this fear, looking at this moment, it's frozen in my mind. That was then, and this is now, and I'm okay. 
even though this is frozen in my mind and it's been there for a long time, I'm working through it. Okay, and you can choose whatever affirmation you want, but that was then and this is now is a very powerful statement because it really signals to your mind and your body that you've already gotten through this, it is in the past, and it starts to break that connection. Okay, so again, laser focusing, your mind will start trying to bring in other details, it will start to kind of try to jump forward in the movie, and I want you to really focus in on that exact moment where you froze it the first time, okay? Even if it's just a tiny peak, so even if it just bumped your intensity up, you know, one or two notches, I want you to stop and tap there so that we can, you know, make a thorough clearing as we move through the memory, okay? So at, from here, we'll go to the top of the head and you just start to tap and voice the emotion, all this fear or anxiety or guilt or whatever's coming up. I can see it so clearly. And just keep tapping all this emotion. It's really intense. There's so much emotion looking at this memory. I can feel it in my entire body. All this fear. It's so intense. And on the chest. And just go ahead and voice wherever you feel it. So I feel it in my chest, this tightness in my chest, under the collarbone. Even thinking about this memory really triggers me and I can really feel it and under the arm all this fear I can feel it in my entire body okay so you'll want to do one or two rounds go ahead and take a breath and first just check in with your body and see if that in intensity has come down at all okay it's okay if it hasn't it doesn't mean that it's not working it just means that there might be new pieces coming up that are actually making the intensity go up first of course we do want as you focus on each piece of the memory we want that intensity to start coming down but if it doesn't don't panic it's gonna be okay so from here again I want you to rewind that story in your mind again and I want you to go ahead and play the movie forward in your mind again to that exact same spot and freeze it there again. And if the intensity spiked up to a seven or an eight before and you really felt it in your chest, I want you to see what that number is now, okay? If the number has gone up, I want you to ask yourself, what about that moment, what detail has shifted, what new thing is standing out, okay? So in the beginning, it may be something like an image and we freeze and we're really focused on the image. And then after tapping, other details will come forward that are also stored inside of our memory. And this can be things like, it was the tone in their voice or certain words that were spoken or a look in their eye um, or the sound of a crash or something like that. It can be very, very sensory and it will be as you work through the different pieces of it. So I want you to close your eyes and look at that piece of the memory again. And I want you to ask yourself, what is the intensity? Where do I feel it in my body? And is there any new piece of this that's really standing out? Okay. Now, when you've tapped that memory down, I say try to get it down to a zero or one. I mean, at the very least, try to get it down to below a, you know, a two or a three. Um, but the lower you can get it, the more of a foundational clearing you're going to get. Okay. So when you've gotten that that moment tapped down to a zero, sometimes it takes playing that movie forward to that spot three, four, five, six times. But a lot of times it only takes one time, and then when you play it forward you get to that spot and you don't feel any intensity, okay? That's what we're going for. So as you tap it down to a zero one, I want you to rewind it again. This time, play the movie forward in your mind. You can do it with your eyes open. If you feel safe, you can go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to play that movie forward again, nice and slow. And when you get to that point, if it's still a zero or a one, I want you to keep playing that memory forward. Again, we're choosing a five minute span of time. So it's not gonna be huge. It's not an entire day. It's not weeks. It's not this, you know, a year of horrible things happening. You're really breaking it down to bite-sized pieces so that you can work through this, okay? Because you can do this. So as you get to that point, the intensity should be nice and low and stay there. And I want you to keep playing it forward. The next moment in time that you see in this memory and you feel something inside, even if your mind tries to jump in and say, oh no, it's fine, I'm over that, I want you to really be paying attention to your body because it will show you when you've still got some emotion, some trauma, um, and some nervous system wiring connected to that memory, which means it's still activating your body like it's happening in real time, okay? So play that forward to the next moment in time when you have another peak in intensity and I want you to freeze it there and do the exact same thing and you just do the basic process. Even though I have this memory, it's locked in my mind and it's really intense. That was then and this is now. And in this moment, tapping on my body, I'm okay. Okay, you can see how that really 
tells your mind that it's in the past and right now we're here, okay? Tells your body you're safe. Even though I have this memory and it's really painful, all this fear or whatever emotion's coming up for you, I can really feel it in my throat. I deeply and completely honor my real feelings. You know, you can do that three times and then you tap through the points just like we did last time. All this fear or guilt, all this guilt. Looking at this memory, it was really horrible. It's so intense and I can really feel it. It's so uncomfortable. All this fear, whatever the emotion is. You may want to, if the intensity is high again, you may want to do two or three rounds and then stop and take a big deep breath. <sighs> okay. And it feels really redundant and it is, it's supposed to be because we're working on desensitizing you. We're working on really removing the blocks and resetting your nervous system. And you will just continue to go back to that one memory, play it forward and keep finding each of the little pieces that are causing intensity. Again, I want you to really pay attention to in your mind, in the memory, what are the visual cues that are really um, triggering you? What are the scents? You know, smells can come back, um, sounds, you know, just even like the temperature in the room, you might feel yourself get cold. That's okay. That's your body showing you that there's still something connected there. Tap on it, voice what you're feeling, and when you're all done, you'll be able to talk about that memory or you'll be able to play that memory forward in your mind and not feel the intensity with it is a very powerful thing to truly put that memory in the past so that it's no longer haunting you in your body and in your mind, okay? Now the next step with that, working with that same piece to test it, is to start to tell the story out loud. It moves it through your throat, it, um, it activates more sense in you so that you can, as you hear it, it's actually gonna land differently in the body and you do the exact same process except this time you say it out loud. And when you can say out loud by yourself in the room and have no trigger, have no activation in your body, it feels safe, the next step past that is to say, who is a safe person that I could actually tell this story to? Now that is not imperative. You do not have to do that to heal this memory. However, I will say that putting yourself in someone someone's arms and finding someone trustworthy to tell that to is going to heal on such a deep level. Don't feel like you have to do it, but it is a powerful thing. And if you can have the courage to do it once you're ready and once it feels safe, you will not regret it. Um, I've had experiences where I thought I totally cleared something and then the second I went to say it to someone else, I got a whole nother wave of emotion. And at this point, when I get another wave of emotion, I go, Oh wow, cool. I'm I'm healing. I'm, you know, clearing something even deeper now. So, if you want to play with that, I would definitely recommend it. Saying it to someone else will definitely get you to a deeper place. Um, but that's how you do it. So again, I want you to be sure that you're really laser focusing bite-sized pieces on these specific memories, specific moments in time. Um, for example, if you have been through a divorce, I don't know why that keeps coming to mind, but you may have several fights with a person and they kind of all mush together. And I want you to just, even if it feels like you're making it up, I want you to Focus in on one specific fight, one moment in time, one piece, so that you can start to go through and break that up, okay? So that's it for today. Um, that's how you tap on a specific memory. It's so important. It's one of the foundational things that we have to do with tapping to get that deep clearing. And when you do it right, it's easy, it's doable, and it's something that you have in your toolbox for the rest of your life, for your children, for your family, for your friends, that you can actually help them de-traumatize and detach from the past also and do some very, very deep healing. So good luck you all, that's it for today. Mwah.